Hey, hey, welcome back to Massive Chalice. I'm Austin. We're here with Second Run Gaming, doing what we do best, a second run through of something that we already failed. So, yeah. Um, so far, we're doing better than we were last time, I think, but it's hard to tell this early on, so we're just going to keep focused. We did have a really good run at that last battle, getting up a new young vanguard with our three houses. Sage Riot skills three days away from being completed. We just got an alchemist. So far, so good. Research complete. A new Sage Riot skill has been built. Remember, Sage Riots forsake combat for their pursuit of knowledge, and your hero's intuition will greatly influence their rate of research. So we got a couple vacancies here. As far as intuitions, Donal Rippon has a decent intuition and low fertility, so step right up, Donal. First of many, I hope. Thrills of battle are a hard thing to leave, but I always found the thrills of inquiry and invention to be worthy substitutes. Just don't get carried away with appointments. Sage rights can never return to battle, and last I checked, we still need heroes to win this war. Zelka is, um, tempting for the Sage Rites Guild, but I don't, we're not really strapped for research right now, so I don't feel too bad. I think the next thing, a health file is definitely, definitely going to be something that we're going to want to have pretty soon here. And getting the advanced training going is going to be super necessary too. But building that crucible ASAP so we can start training our people I think is really nice. And I'm going to throw it right in the center here. No bonuses, but I think it's going to be nice to just have something that we know isn't going to get destroyed because of the cadence. Sound the horns of passing. Talika has died. She had one kid. It's tough, but now you've got an idea of what to expect from this campaign. Lots of horns. The partner will return to your retinue, and you'll have to appoint a new regent and partner to continue the bloodline. Your heroes await your decision. It does mean Francis is kind of our only option as far as a regency is concerned. She's 48 already. Um, we could throw Evie in there instead. That honestly might not be a bad idea. It just means that there's nine years of, um, of not somebody. I'm going to throw Francis in there right now. Because I think Evie will be old enough to join our vanguard, hopefully, by the next battle. And Andreas is decent. Mirden, I don't like the longevity trait for anybody who's in the Regency. So we're going to throw him in in there instead. At least they were together at the end. That's better than what most people get. And our other Castillon, who was a partner, also passed away. Mikal still has high fertility, which is nice, but we don't have too many people to settle them with, unfortunately. It's just going to be Zelikar's. Let's check at the age of our Zelikar people. Pretty old, too. I think we can afford to marry a Zelikar right now. Alexandria just joined the Vanguard. Um, so it's really, who's going to be better for a Vanguard here? Rush or Harlequin? Neither of them are really super great. Adeline's going to be the regent for them though. Increased dexterity, decreased match HP, increased intelligence, decreased match HP. Optimistic, optimistic, nervous, nervous. It's, you know, they're very similar. I'm gonna put Harlequin in there, just cause. There we go. That was a long time without a battle. We went from year 22 to year 41. So there's no cadence on either of these, but we've got to keep over here and we get a 23 year old female hunter. Something that I didn't think about in our last playthrough is the rewards of getting those hunters. It's kind of like when we do those hero boosts. It's someone from a different 
house that we can use as a potential, you know, person to marry and all that stuff. So they are kind of a really helpful reward. Now there are seeds and bulwarks there, but this has lapses and bulwarks. I would happily fight seeds and bulwarks instead. I don't want to fight bulwarks to begin with, but if, if the other option is, is lapses as well, I don't want to do that. Zelka's still kicking it at 66. Impressive. And Eevee is old enough, which is nice. So yeah, I'm going to throw Eevee in there. And we're ready to go. Everybody here? All good? Okay, now hit them fast before they know what's happening. All right, same deal with this one. I mean, we have that steam vent in the way, so it may not work. But yeah, like with this, Ada can see some seeds there, so I'm gonna try and pick them off if I can. Yes. I don't think Balon can see, unfortunately. That just means we'll have Balon be our stealth scout, see what's, what's chilling up here. We already know it's primarily seeds, but you want to know exactly how many, how close they are, all that type of stuff. So that we can move our caber jacks with a little bit more confidence. And Eevee too. I want to see if Ada can see. She can, and she can use her flask shot too. Nice. Ada hopefully will get a relic since we got kind of cheated on our relic last time. I thought we had one. And then we'll move Bail on up here. It's just that last seed that I see. We'll see if we can't take him out now. Nope, not quite. That's okay though. Just kind of move them all up here. No really need to rush up against that seed because that's the precise time where we're accidentally going to run into a bulwark. One damage I can live with. Alexandria take this one. Nice. Before we go any further, I'm gonna have Ada just kind of try and run up and catch up. And if anybody shows up enemy wise on the in between while we're waiting, great. Probably won't, but you never know. Now, this is kind of a more open area. So we're not really going to be able to use our stealth scouting. Kind of just have to waltz on out there and see what lies beyond. Hopefully it's nothing too scary. But yeah, so far so good. Definitely not going to sprint though. Just going to keep moving at a leisurely pace. Still nothing, okay. Feeling like we're definitely gonna run into something soon. Yep, there he is. Bulwarks, like lapses, prefer to fight from afar. And you better make your first hit count, because at the slightest touch, this lug will shield itself, and then you're left standing with your caber in the wind. But it only lasts a short while. Have your heroes ready for a second round. Third. Okay, so we know there's a couple bulwarks, so we're going to want to be really careful. I think I'm going to opt to go up this way. I'd rather not have to fight both bulwarks at once. We're here with Ada. We can see that bulwark. Doesn't do too much damage though. Seven to ten, and she can shoot us. We don't have any health packs. 
Huh. Tough call. Can't see anything here with our alchemist, but I'm curious if. Nope, not quite. Move Alexandria up one. I'm gonna move Ada. Actually, back one, I think. So that bulwark is not in our range of any of our people. It's just gonna be the seed. Back flask that can be thrown there. Which could be good. Kind of our only option. Didn't stun him though. Take out the seed. I get way too excited about this. Gonna move Zelka over here. Again, just to potentially distract. Balon, I'm going to just stealth. No distractions. Eevee's got to be careful. Okay. And by Eevee, I mean me. I've got to be careful with Eevee. Alexandria can do a good amount of damage, so I'm going to try and rush up there and do that. This might be enough. I'm gonna have Balon actually come back over here. Hit him for one. Damn it. Well, now it's not gonna work probably. Everybody had to hit. I'm gonna have to knock this bulwark back. Hopefully stun him. Yep. But actually, since that technically did two damage, I'm gonna see if Ada can't just finish it. Hell yeah. That way we don't gotta worry about it. And I'm gonna keep Eevee there. Cause now Eevee's light on health. I wanna be careful about that. Okay, Zelka can move up. Can't do a charge, they could do 12 to 16. Alexandria could do 13 to 17, which is good. We'll try that. Nice. Then I'll have Zelka just move over here. Again, as partially a distractant. Move Balon up here just to stealth. And Ada can't really stealth, unfortunately. But we'll have Ada come over here. Evie's gonna just chill. I don't want her to get hit by this bulwark. Ugh, I am just the worst at mapping those things out. They're really good at it. Thankfully they missed, but still, I mean shit, man. Nice. I get way too excited about this. And Ada, why don't you just take out that seed? Nice. I'm gonna keep Evie there. Honestly gonna keep everybody where they are, but I am gonna move Bail on him up. Just so he's a little bit closer to the group. I don't know where any of the enemies really are now. So, as far as enemies, I mean, we could have some over here. That looks pretty likely, honestly. So I'm just going to keep plugging in that direction. Yep, there's a C, that's for sure. I'll have A to just take that one out really quick. Yeah, 
that's what I was curious about if there was another bulwark. Could flask shot him. Balon might be okay, but he's only got nine health, which is scary for sure. Have Zelka move up. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Well, that changes everything. Okay, Alexandria's gonna sprint all the way over here. Zelka's gonna come over here. Balon's gonna stealth all the way back over here, just to get those other guys out of the way. And we're gonna have mm, Eevee kinda get as far as away as possible. Thirteen to seventeen. We gotta, we gotta whittle him down. We gotta start before that other bulwark shows up. So, got two turns to take him out, basically. We leave Zilka there, actually. Ada's already been seen, so I'm gonna have her just try and take out that seed. Still worried that he'll focus on Eevee, so I'm gonna be even further back. Keep our other guys stealthed. Oof. Yeah, those hit hard. We're gonna want health packs soon for sure. Alexandria just finished this off, hopefully. Nice. Alright, that bulwark is done just in time for our other bulwark to show up. We have Ada finish off this seed. Get it out of the way. I think she just got a nickname too. Fingers crossed. Have Zilka come up there. Just to kind of get in the way. And I'm gonna have her actually sprint at the seed, take that out. I see my advice is paying off. Your advice? That'll hopefully just take the heat as far as the bulwark is concerned. And I'm gonna keep Balon hidden just because I'm worried that the bulwark will do too much damage. How much can... Yeah, Zelkin can do 12 out the gate. Just two. Fudge. Okay. Well, have Alexandria run up there too. Not much we can really do beyond that. Yeah, Ada the Shroud, nice. I'm gonna keep everybody back here. It's just not worth losing somebody over. It takes a couple more turns. Yikes. But I'm not necessarily worried about losing the Caber Jacks, hopefully. But Alexandria actually do the hit here. Nice. And then I'm gonna have Zelka do a knockback. Awesome. Balon can come forward just to make sure we got some insurance on this. And then Alexandria hopefully can finish this off. Nice. And she, River Bend, so she's got a nickname too. Hell yeah. Call the cooks. For every pawn killed today, I want a roasted turkey waiting for that hero. Just shutting the door on vegetarians again, huh? You always forget about the vegetarians. Oh, excuse me, yes. Sorted salads as well, please. Awesome, so Alexandria and Ada both have nicknames. Hopefully that means that by the time they are ready to pass on, they will have relics.
I think it's possible that the reason that we didn't get a relic from our last guy is because he didn't come from a keep, so the bloodline wasn't established. Um, so hopefully that means that since these guys both came from keeps, that they, they will get relics because they will have bloodlines that are there. We got Kerrigan Kukuruza. Hell yeah. Amelia Zelikar, Regent of Zumeria, has died. Okay, let's check our fertility here. We've got a lot now. Inanna, Hawkeye, Bountiful, Decreased Strength, and Nervous still. But Hawkeye's good. Hawkeye, Bountiful, Avenger. Caitlyn definitely is the one right now. I want to get rid of those bad traits if we can. Nervous. Nervous. Caitlyn, thankfully, doesn't have any tough traits. So 100% it's going to be Caitlyn. And then we could do Sangorius, but that's kind of our Foxfire person. So Mirden, unfortunately Mirden's a lot older. What about Neve? Neve's not great. Who's in our Foxfire right now? Yeah, it's an older guy for sure. Let's see what the options are. go with someone like Yon, for example. Then we've got Kerrigan. Kerrigan's really not very good. So I'm going to throw Caitlyn in there, and I'm going to pair her with Neve. I think Mirrodin is too bad. Neve's got some bad qualities, but hopefully Kerrigan will, I mean, or, um, hopefully Caitlyn will offset that. Awesome, the Crucible has been completed, and I think I know who should go first. Zelika's 71. Optimistic, well-rested, alert, nervous, though. Not ideal, actually. Forty-four per year, though. But a lot of people have the nervous trait. I really would like to not pass that on. Optimistic isn't good either, so I think Cassandra's good. She just passes on alert, which I think I'm okay with for right now. It's the only job I'd ever be interested. Gonna just in. have someone in there for a minute. Not much danger, sure, but you get to fight every day and inspire others, all to the cries of struggle and incapacitating injuries. Sounds relaxing, right? We definitely need a health file, so I'm gonna just jump right into that. And after that, I think we're going to probably research armor and weapons. Send word to the partner immediately. Ah, Francis has died. So Evie is in our vanguard. I'm going to throw Rodrigo in there. Rodrigo has the Hawkeye trait, which is really nice. Um, it isn't nervous, which I like. Hopefully he retains that. And then in six years, Eve, um, you know, we'll be able to throw somebody else in there that'll fit with them. We could throw Evie in there. But then we're setting it up again for just not a relic. But there are more options for sure, and on Andreas is an option. 50 though. There's Jan. We need more kids, specifically for the Castillans. So I think we are actually going to do that, and Jan will be the guy we throw in there. Mikal has passed away as well. That's pretty much the it for our original people. Fertility, so we've got Cory, Strong-Willed, Bountiful, Slow, Wily, or Sangorius. Bountiful, Sickly, Alert. I'll take Sickly over Slow any day, for being honest here. And since he's Sickly, he may pass away earlier, so we could pick someone else. Kerrigan puny, cocky, and nervous. Pretty shitty. Um, Adelaine is not gonna be the other person. There's Inanna, too. Hawkeye is good, but nervous is not. But they are all nervous. 
So I think maybe it's going to be Inanna. Because of the Hawkeye trait. Dexterity, though. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to be Adelaine, actually. Okay. Yeah, if we can get more heroes in here at some point, too, that's probably going to be a good idea. We're mingling a lot with our houses. You can't make this stuff up. Quarantine! Zelka Zelikar has contracted a disease that the capital doctors have never seen before. They're calling it Bombosis. The symptoms aren't too severe, but they're recommending a quarantine because that could easily change and because it will take at least 10 years of study to figure out a cure. What would you do? Quarantine Zelka, we can't risk spreading it. Let Zelka resume their duties. We can't afford. We'll put Zelka in the chalice, see what happens. Man, I've put people in the chalice before. It has not been good. So I will put Zelka in. Man, well, she's 74. Fuck it. I'm gonna put Zelka in the chalice. See what happens. Intriguing. Zelka jumps into the chalice without a moment's hesitation and never comes back up. As poles are rushed over to help locate the body, the doctors assure you that this result, though unfortunate, is very intriguing. She's missing in the chalice, so maybe you never know. She might come back. I don't fucking know. Nice. We've got health files. We can make a different research. So we've got all the buildings we need. Armors are definitely the next bet. You could make an argument that we could discover some new heroes, but we just married off a bunch of people. So I don't think it's quite necessary yet. We've got a lot of cabers. Got a lot of bow people. I think armor is always going to be better to begin with. And our bow people are squishiest, so I want to research that first. And actually, since I've forgotten, we have vacancies in our Sage Rite skills, we should be checking on that. Um, for anybody who's old, Kerrigan, we're not going to use. Her traits are trash. And I think that's probably it. Because the intuition of these guys is just so shitty. But we're never going to use them, so actually, fuck it. Mirrodin. Welcome to the Sage Rites Guild. Your intuitions too. Heroes, ready yourselves. And another Your battle. Enemies wait to greet you. Twenty-five percent reduction in research time, and it's on a place that we have a thing. Sounds good to me. Okay, so we've got Balon and Ada still, and we got Alexandria also. So Alexandria is probably going to get a relic. far as the other Zelikars, if we have any young youngins, Inanna or Josh, so dim-witted, puny, slow learner, bountiful though, heart disease, increased intelligence. I think Harlequin or Inanna. Inanna's got 10 extra years, so I'm going to throw her in there. And for our Castillans, we actually don't have anybody, which is crazy. And it's just because we're in the process of getting that person to age. So I'm going to throw one of these guys in here. Low fertility. We're going to go Theo. Because they're the enforcer, which means that they have that that nicer ability. We've got three hunters, two caber jacks. We're facing off seeds, ruptures, and lapses. Yeah, I think this is looking pretty good. Fingers crossed this battle goes well. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs>